Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology, Esoteric Life Coaching. I am your host, Charles. This is a esoteric channel, meaning that we delve into the metaphysical, paranormal readings. We discuss the supernatural as far as uh, the dimensionals, the archangels. We did have a broad discussion of all this, all to help you learn how to connect, reconnect to yourself and others, knowing how to communicate properly, knowing how to set boundaries, and know how to convey what it is that's within you to other people. Right? Today is sort of manifesting a day where we, the reading goes toward what is it about what's manifesting in our life. We've been putting out there thoughts. We've been internally working through our old stuff. And even today you may feel uh, a little disillusioned, meaning that you keep putting stuff out there, but you're not seeing things come through. So you get a little disillusioned. Um, now, and then we start maybe getting into the mindset of denial, like, okay, is, is this what I'm doing really what I should be doing? Or is there something else, right? And we're sort of getting mixed signals, right? The signals are, in one sense, in a few hours comes in and says, hey, you know, it's okay, rest, this is what you're supposed to be doing, but then the next moment, the energy feels cloudy, you're stuck, right? So today we're just going to see where that energy is in our life, how it's coming in, and maybe you've been manifesting. There is a lot of stuff about um, relationships coming in. Uh, because Venus was around, we had uh, Mars is still here, uh, the Scorpio energy is still here. We're starting to feel a little bit of the, uh, the Sag energy, Sagittarius energy. So let's see what the, uh, how our own personal manifestations about our dreams, our hopes, our, um, do we have fears around them, right? There's a lot of moon energy. It won't be long until we're coming into the new moon, and that has its own energy. We're not going to get to the astrological stuff of that. We just want to see today is more about, um, you've put some stuff out there to the universe. You're inner, internally creating from the esoteric and waiting for it to show up in your life. So let's take a night and let's see where let's see what is coming in and how it's coming in, alright? Right away we have three of stone. That there's still some more work to be done. <laughs> Y'all are probably getting tired of doing the work. I hear you guys, I hear you. Let's before we go on, let's sort of get some uh, the divines maybe giving us a little uh, uh, pep talk here. Let's <laughs> see what they got to say. Uh, because we keep doing work, we keep doing work, we keep doing work. Well, that's good. We get envy, but it's upside down or in reverse for me, so that's good. We're not we're not locking into other people and what they're doing. We're not comparing ourselves, so that's a good thing. Um, excellent. We get the anxiety card, but for me, again, it's in the reverse. So the opposite of anxiety, in one sense, could be depression. So you're getting a little de uh, depressed about it. now. Um, in behavioral therapy, we look at the past as depression because we're, we're pressing something down from the past. We don't want to look at it. Anxiety is we're anxious about what may be coming. We don't know what's coming. So if this is anxiety, then we're, we may be focused on getting depressed because there's just not coming in yet. Okay. And then eventually, let's see, we get, um, again, we get Raphael, but in the reverse. Okay. Raphael sort of wants us to come at it from the heart, right? But we're not coming at the heart. We're still having to come in from the mind. We're, or, or we're still focused on the mind and not the heart, right? A lot of you, and that's what the work has to be done, is to do more work with your heart, right? You may think that you've done your work, but what's being asked of you, and what you're really asking of yourself, is what's deeper, right? Is there something deeper? that you may be avoiding, you just don't know about, but the energy is calling you to take the time, do the work, and see what that deeper thing is. Right? The deeper thing needs to get cleared or dealt with in order for this new energy to come up. 
we have the universe that's on the subconscious. So a lot of this work, a lot of the energy, as I was just saying, is coming in. Uh, it's coming in from the universe. So again, it comes from that, this, Shambhala hierarchy, God, the seven frequencies, right? So that's sort of the energy of how it forms. Now, we, we can imagine that this is outside of us, that's coming to us. But I want you to sort of understand the esoteric that you're the one creating the, the universe is inside you, what is inside of you. And externally, the exoteric is all the universe. But the God is within, and that's what's creating. The God is a supernatural force, much like a black hole. It takes stuff in and spits stuff out. And so that's what that is. That takes in the debris or collects energy, attracts energy, and then repels it out of itself. And that repellation then becomes our reality through the process of taking some, taking a no thing into nothing into something, right? So, right, uh, immediately we get abundance, right? So we got abundance coming in. Um, and do, if you believe in... in, in someone watching over you, or if it's just your internal intelligence watching, whatever your case is, that there's someone always around uh, who has your better, who has your, um, what is it, your your best interest at heart, right? So we talk about the heart. Um, so you're guarding yourself. Right? In one sense, you have a guardian, but you're also guarded. Does that make sense? And that's what we need to do the work on, is what is it we're guarding, right? Is it vulnerability? What I'm seeing here is um, you don't think you can be successful, right? We get to see the Seven of Cups. <laughs> okay, these, these cards are a little hard to see sometimes, but it's in reverse. Um, so the illusion of success, which this card represents, is that um, you don't think you can be successful. Now, that's part of this redefinition or redefining is what is success to you. Not by a monetary driven society, right? What is it? What is success for you? What is, how, what will make you understand that you are living a successful life? Right? By doing this work, by putting the effort in, that's a success. You're successful at putting the work in. So success is a broad spectrum, but is there something specific you want to look at? Let's take a look at the next three then. So there has to be deeper reflection. Now for some of you, you've done enough reflection, so it is time to get out of the reflection. But when it comes to the success you're after, um, some of this has to do about relationships, right? See that okay? The lovers is is uh, astrologically with Gemini, so there, there's Gemini's two, right? The twins, and next to the twins is Cancer. So when we have um, our Cancer is. I said I want to go into astrology, but your 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 north node and south node, right? Your moon energy. So the you have these dreams that you want to do, right? But in in one sense, you're not sure the details of this, or even a broad picture yet of what this is, right? You you've closed off, or let me rephrase: you've um, did the work and eliminated from your life what's no longer working. And now you're in this, this neutral zone and you're ready to, for that next thing to come in, but it, you're not getting the signs that it's coming in, right? Because we're not sure what that is. So if we're not sure what we're looking for, if we don't know for sure what we want to do, then we're not sure what it is we should be looking for, right? So part of, because we want to make a choice. We, we, our choice is we want to do something else, but what is that other thing? Right? So this creates confusion, illusion. Right? We get disillusion with success. So part of this is contemplating further what it is you want to do. And this one thing that's inside of you, this more work you have to do, the universe has given us that more energy. 
right? The universe is coming through and asking you to look deeper. And when it says deeper, it's not looking into that there's a problem, right? Looking deeper is that the, your existence, who you are, your success, whatever that is, health, wealth, and love, is going to come from within to tap into the depths and delve deeply into your soul. It's not about going out anymore. That's what the hermit card here is for. The hermit goes within, right? But most people talking about going within, they're still reflecting about outside external events and trying to manifest who they are and what they are by the outside world of what success is. But I'm seeing here that the deeper work is not a um, dealing with your problems. It's about going deeper within your own universe. Right? Tapping into the Akashic Records, the Cosmic Libraries, whatever you want to call them, they all got names. Right? It's about going deeper. Right? The deeper you can go is, in one sense, you're going into the black hole. Right? You're that. And so you're taking all the debris that you've done away with in your life, that you've closed out, you left the, the relationships <clears throat> that no longer work. You know, love the ones and, and love everything that you've done. <clears throat> but as that, as you broke up that mental thought and attachments that you had, that debris, if you will, that mental debris is coming into that, and now on the other side, it's coming out clear, right? And that's going deep into yourself, is you're, you are that, so you're going into the depths of thatness, and you're ready to produce something new, right? Now, what is that newness that we're ready to manifest have come down into this world? Immediately we get the star. We get what in this deck is called the alchemy card. And then we get the two of swords, which is a peaceful uh, energy. In this deck we have the 22nd card. There's 22. So for those whose um, divine number, you see 22s or 222s. Two, 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 this is a card that's called alchemy. And so there's a restraint to this. And so you, you're restraining yourself from being uh, totally successful. Again, we have to redefine for yourself what success is. In what, in what context are you defining success? So let's take the word success out of here. And what is it, what is the essence of success? Is it a feeling? And that's what we want to be into is our hearts here. Is what do you feel? Right? When you complete something, do you feel successful? When you start something, do you feel successful? Or are you that mind that while you're doing it, while you're creating it, you feel successful? Or is it all three? Right? <clears throat> so you are here, you're creating your life. You're beginning to manifest and call forth from within what it is you want to be in this life. So, that, But what happens is we sort of Forget about all three, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Right? Or the inception, the duration, and the completion. Right? To evolve. Again, it comes back down to that basic, you know, uh, cliche, uh, overused thing is that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. But for me, it's about all of it. It's about how, it, this, if you're struggling to create the next step, that is the creation process. Are you uh, happy about that? Does that feel successful to you? You started it. That's a success, right? It may be a, a beginning one, right? But there's more successes to, to be had. And so you're in the process. Are you enjoying the process, right? We have in here the anxiety card that we had earlier, right? Are you getting depressed because you're not seeing the result, right? And that's where the faith comes in. We've talked about before is that the, it's the unseen process. Can you be okay that you internally don't know everything, but there's a whole lot of stuff working within that's getting your manifestation to come through, right? There's a choice that has to be made here. The star card is all about reconnection for me. People, again, we talk about healing and all that stuff, but this is a great card to get in here because it starts the process that comes after the tower of the destruction or the deconstructing of an old system. So what this does is reconnect us. And that's where that comes in. We're reconnected to that part of ourself. That which is the process where there's nothing. We've done away with it. Now it's brand new. 
So it's like selling your house, but you don't have the next house yet. So you're sort of homeless, and that feeling of homelessness is maybe what's causing some of this depression and or anxiety. But know that if you stay in the heart, the heart is the core to that. The process that happens with that is the core. Right? What runs this is the heart. And that may seem vague to some of you because you haven't redefined what the heart is for you. The heart for me is the core to the universal self. Right? It's the thing that I go to to call upon, to give instructions, to give orders to, to start telling the ions in the universe to start coming together as electrons and protons and atoms and muons and leptons. Right? Scientifically, whatever you want to call them, but it starts forming the pieces. And so when those pieces in your life, you start feeling it, even though you don't know why or how, but you feel at peace. That's the Shambhala stage of your creation. So be at peace even when you're feeling depressed. Try to be at peace when you're getting anxious. Try to be at peace when you don't know or can't see, right? Whatever it is you want in this life. Right? Part of this is just, that is the, the, the purpose of this reading, is to be okay with what's not happening as much as with what is happening. So whatever's going on, if you're feeling anxious, depressed, any of these emotions, that's part of the process. So here is, you have a choice. Make a, make, make a choice, the two of swords, make a choice that you're going to enjoy this process or not, because if you're not enjoying the process, right, even enjoy yourself not enjoying the process, right, take a step back and go, ah, oh, this is frustrating, right, I want whatever it is to come through, come through, but I'm not seeing it, right, enjoy that frustration, right, because this is all part of, of, of a big puzzle, right, or a detective solving a crime, Right? They dig and dig and dig and dig. They don't quit until they get all the pieces. And they, they keep searching because they may hit dead end after dead end, which just feels like sometimes we hit dead ends. And we feel like nothing's happening. But every piece of work you're doing leads to more ions coming together to come and create what it is you're here to manifest. Does that make sense? So today's about the process of manifesting. Let's see if we can get a... Um, sort of an overall card. Where are we within that process, right? So let's say we understand that, the Shambhala hierarchy guy, all the seven frequencies. Where are we sort of on the seven frequencies? Or where are we on this whole process where we're about to see something big come into our life that says yes, right? Because if we can't enjoy the process, you're not going to enjoy when this thing shows up because your perspective about it will be in denial or disillusion. Oh, that can't be it, right? Yeah, this guy offered me this job. I'm like, I'm not going to take that. I'm waiting for my thing to come along. Right? If we go back to that old story where a flood's starting to have a heavy ranger coming in and this guy's praying to God and uh, a rescue boat comes along, you know, or this big big car comes along. However this story goes, it's told different ways. But the roads start flooding, a boat comes along, a small little boat comes along and, you know, uh, they say, hey, we're rescuing people. The road's starting to flood out. No, no, I'm waiting for God. God's going to show me a sign. And then uh, it starts flooding more and more and more. This guy gets up into the second floor. You know, uh, a big boat comes by and says, hey, you know, we're taking people. Hop on in. No, 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 I'm waiting for God to show me a sign. And then I'll go. God's going to rescue me. And then finally, you know, it gets so high, the guy drowns, dies, goes to heaven. And then... It, the guy's like, God, what happened? I was waiting for you to show up. He, he said, I did. I, I brought you two boats and a, and a, and a helicopter or <laughs> whatever, whatever the story goes. I know I'm butchering the story, but y'all heard it enough times, I'm sure. But when things come to us, we deny it because we're not enjoying the process is the point. Right? So you got to enjoy it. Yes, it's frustrating. Trust me, I've been through this a million times. Right? Because as an entrepreneur, we go through ups and downs. We create things. We sell things. We close things. Right? That's part of life because that's who we are. And some of y'all listening to me is your life's the same way. You're not happy unless you're creating something new. But you're attached to when you have to, when you want to walk away from something or sell it, right? Or it just doesn't work, right? You have a tendency to look at that as a failure and then you resist opening up to something new. But no, the success is here, guys. So let's sort of see what our final card is. Right? 
So eight of stones is what we're getting. And that's all about knowledge, right? Is acquiring more knowledge, doing the work, right? The knowledge here is universal knowledge. Right? The universal knowledge is your universe, your one voice within. The core that's creating this body and keeping this body alive. Right? How's that even happening? Contemplate on that. When you get frustrated with this stuff, go internally. That's what this is trying to do, is go internally. Not externally into this world and pray outwardly, but pray inwardly. Right? The God, the core, the heart, the Shambhala, it's all within you. It's within inside every cell. It's in the mitochondria. Right? It's in the powerhouse. Right? So focus on that, guys. All right. Hopefully that gave you uh, some sort of insight of what you're feeling maybe today. I'm trying to bring in at the end, I'm trying to feel the energy of the universe, the world, and bring that, present that in each of these individual readings Monday through Friday. And I am starting um, a podcast. I'm, I'm building a few of them first, tweaking them, and then I'm going to put them out on YouTube and other different avenues. So look forward to that coming out. And also, if you are new and you liked what you heard today and it helped you, uh, definitely thumbs up. Uh, notification bell, right? Uh, click on that you want every time, put it on all, and that way it uh, tells the algorithms that you're watching this stuff. And if you like what I'm doing, and when it comes up on YouTube and you see other people, it's click through to theirs, right? Other readers, click on those guys or other people. Because what YouTube does, it sees that you're still staying engaged. And the longer you stay engaged, it, it reflects better on me. Right, so definitely from my videos, skip around to other people's videos and keep engaged. Right, that's part of the knowledge learning. Right, acquire as many things as you can from as many places as you can. Right, and by collecting that energy, it goes into that and then comes out the other side as a manifested um, reality for you. Alright All right, guys, I think that'll do it today. I appreciate you again showing up and uh, definitely share this video and all that good stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Well, actually Monday.